Team Rocky Mountain was formed. Basically, the four associations, the four biggest associations in the North came together uh, to develop one AAA program that they could be behind and, sent, and feel that they could develop their players through the Tier 2 system and move them on to the Tier 1 system. And that team would be Team Rocky Mountain. It's definitely a challenge starting a new program. I mean, uh, you're going to have your ups and downs. Um, you learn every day as you go. Um, and, but I think the number one thing that we have with our program is uh, in our experienced professional coaching staff. Um, these guys have been at every level possible of hockey from NHL to the minors to winning national collegiate hockey championships at NCAA to playing at every junior level possible, major juniors, junior A. Um, so they've been there, done that. Um, they can help these kids get to the next level because they know what it takes to get to that next level. The youth, they think they have to go to U16 and U18 at 15 years of age, and that's not so. A pivotal season at 15 is very important that you have a proper mindset and you let your mental conditioning develop in a, in a proper mode. It's, it's an understanding and not only a physical thing, it's a mental thing. Sometimes it's best to take that little step of quietness, comprehension, and then make the jump forward. In all honesty, this level I think is, is a great age group because I kind of preach to my kids that uh, you know this is this is the time to get noticed. This is this is an age where you're developing very much. You're you're, you're going on to bigger and better things, and you know you may be a late bloomer and you may end up on the U18 in a year or two. But at the same time, it should be your goal to be. This is your last amateur team to play for, and that you should be going to a junior team or whatever whatever path you want to take. This should be your starting block to get you there. is to move kids on to the next level and what you know a kid at this age has to understand is that um, with tier two and tier one junior A being what it is nowadays it's very competitive and it's going to be very hard to play at that level and regardless of your skill set unless you know I mean most 17 or 18 year olds would already be playing junior A hockey you know if they had if they had the work ethic and so that's kind of what we're here to develop is you know get these kids ready for the next level. In addition to the, you know, the head coaches we have, we have some guys that are the more specialized. Our director of player development, Doug Schmale, who's been developing players for, for many, many years, uh, has a 13-year you know, NHL background. Uh, he's played at every level possible at hockey, and, and, and he's really here to help kids develop, uh, not only strength-wise, but just mentally. And, and then, obviously, Ron Graham, our director of goaltending. Um, he's played at every level, including NHL, WHA, college. Um, you know, he's obviously here to help our goalies get to that next level as well. So Rocky Mountain would probably have something that a lot of the others do not have, and that would be that they have consistency on both levels, playing experience, teaching, and the uh, patience. And because it takes patience, it's repetition. Hockey is rep repetition. And it doesn't matter what you do, you have to repeat. Little things like stopping at the net, chipping a puck out, you know, stopping at the red line. It's, it's little things, little things, little things. And I kind of preach that. And that's kind of my whole uh, approach to the development side of the U16 program. And that's our goal. You know, we're here to win, but we think if we develop properly, the winning will come. You know, as a coaching staff, we've always felt we don't want to hold any kid, any kid back at any time. You know, if that means losing your best player in the middle of the season so they can move on and, and, and develop at the next level, then that's what we'll do. I mean, if that's what the player wants and that's what's best for the player, then that's what we'll do. Well, after one of the games in our Indianapolis tournament, the scout talked to me and said they really liked how I played. and then. After the last few games of the tournament and we ended up winning the championship, he, he then got in touch with his coach and they, they called me the next week and kind of hit me with it all saying they wanted me to come up and skate with their team sometime over Christmas break and then hopefully play for them next year. So. And 
I mean, it's true. Even those early morning games, you don't think anyone's there watching, but there's someone there watching. So you always got to keep that in the back of your mind. So. This is a very unique age because at this age, kids are really put under a microscope. And compared to a single A or a double A program, a triple A scouts and recruiters and everybody comes to see, they know they're trying to see the best of the best. So it really, you know, they don't just ask how a kid plays, they ask about his attitude, they ask how he is in school, all the little things because they want to know and make sure that they're covering their backs, that if they take this kid that he's going to help them and, you know, there's not, uh, he doesn't come with a whole bunch of baggage. Or he's, they're able to mold them and work with them. And you know, they're obviously looking for kids with uh, passion to play because uh, passion and character are the biggest things you're asked about. The commitment level is a lot more obviously, um, but you're gonna get a lot more out of it because of what you're surrounded with. Every day in practice, you got 20 guys that are pushing you constantly. Every game you're in, you're playing against the top talent in the nation, the highest speed possible. You should always have a dream. I, I tried to achieve the National Hockey League because that's the top. You may never get there, but at least you have a dream. And when you have that dream, it'll give you the motivation to work forward and to continue your, your improvement. But if you do not have that mental fortitude, nor the want, if you're just going there for fun, you should never go to uh, AAA Elite Hockey. Play House League. We're not looking for every kid to just uh, do it all by himself. We're looking for kids to buy into the system, work their tails off every day, and we go from there. You can do more with a kid that's gonna work harder and harder every day than you can with a guy with a bunch of skill who's on his own program and not willing to buy in. They go off to juniors, no one's going to hold your hand in juniors. No one's going to pat you on the back and tell you how great you are, even when you played a bad game. You know, you're going to be held accountable. You make a make mistake on the ice, you make a mistake off the ice, you might not play, you might get sent home. There isn't, you know, oh, you know, Jimmy, it's not your fault, you know, I mean, and so that's the number one thing I would say is these kids just have to learn how to be their own their own player you know they have to go out there and play for themselves play for their career don't go out there because mom and dad wants you to go out there go out there because you want it team rocky mountain has no history so we want to create a history of not only developing players but providing them the opportunity to showcase what they've learned and to win also at the same time because the end result is it's kind of dull if you spend all of your time losing you know playing at the next level only the top one two percent of kids are going to ever play Division one college hockey and if you want to be one of those one or two percent You're gonna to have to do something different than the other 98 percent to get there and People sh should want to come here because this is the place to be this is the place to grow and we're gonna give kids every opportunity and uh, we, We're very confident in our approach to the game